Well, hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're a subscriber, welcome back, it's great to have you. I wanna talk about something a little bit different today and something a little bit new also. We're gonna talk about how smart robot vacuum cleaners are actually getting smarter. One of the things that you may know if you have a robot vacuum in your house is that it requires you to make sure that you keep your house tidy before running it. Picking up shoes, picking up clothes, making sure cords are out of the way, creating no-go zone lines and no-go zones to make sure that the robot vacuum stays away from those dangerous things. Not to mention if you have animals in your house. We've seen those videos on YouTube where animals have done their business in the house and the robot vacuum comes along and smears it all over itself and the house. That affects me. I have three cats in my house and uh, while they're pretty good at doing their business in the litter box, uh, I always make sure that the floor is prepped and ready before I send my robot vacuums out into the house. So that limits me some because I can't schedule it to run while I'm not at home or schedule it to run when I have not checked the room first to make sure that it is ready for the robot vacuum. Now all that has changed. The company Roborock has announced their newest robot vacuum, the Roborock S6 Max V, which is due uh, to come out for sale at the end of the second quarter of 2020. Roborock has sent me one to check out and review. And so we'll go ahead and start taking a look at that now. I will say I'm very impressed and very excited to take a look at this. So stay tuned, we'll look at it together. And right here with me is the Roborock S6 Max V. And as you can see here on the front of the box, we have the two cameras on the front of the Max V. And that is what it sets it apart from the other robot vacuums and gives it the intelligence that we are going to review. So if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe as we are going to be putting this through a series of tests in my house to see how well these two front facing cameras allow the robot to effectively navigate your house. Will it make it so that I can run this while I'm not home? We'll see. We'll go ahead and get started now with the unboxing. And now that we're done with the unboxing, here is a quick overview and tour of the new Roborock S6 Max V. As you can see here on the very front, there is a sticker covering up the uh, cameras. And what it says is Reactive AI to protect your privacy, images captured by Reactive AI for obstacle avoidance are processed on board and immediately deleted. And of course, they want you to remove this sticker before you start doing your, your vacuuming. Uh, that way uh, it can actually function. So on the front, we have three buttons here. Make sure that you can see these three buttons. We have home, power, and spot cleaning mode. Uh, of course, we have the LiDAR system here on the top that works together with the uh, AI cameras. And I'll go ahead and pull this sticker off now. So that you can 
take a look at the cameras. That's what the cameras look like. Make sure you can see those in there. It's two dual cameras and they have IR so that they can see in the dark. Uh, laser based navigation systems are great because uh, they can see in the dark. It doesn't matter if it's nighttime or daytime. Some of the competition to Roborock has a camera based system uh, and the camera based systems, they have to have the lights on. Uh, with the Roborock using the laser based navigation system here, that means that the laser based navigation system can see in the dark because it's not affected by light. Camera system, of course, is. So they've built IR into it so that it can see at night, so that's not a problem. And of course, we have uh, a, being the S6 model, we have a, basically the protection for the LiDAR based system. This is clickable. That way, if it were to bump into something, it can reverse without damaging the LiDAR system. So that's a nice nice thing to have on here. I know the S6s, and I think they recently started adding them to the S5 Max, if I'm not mistaken. So, of course, we still have the front bumper on the front of this guy right here to allow it to reverse when it bumps into something. Uh, and looking at the side of it, we still have the side window sensor here. This allows it to stay off the wall, but still get very close to the wall when it's navigating. Uh, let's go ahead and flip it over on the bottom and take a look here. So here is the mopping pad. I have put it on real quick. Let me see if I can take it off. And standard mopping pad that you see from Roborock. Nothing really big there, just the standard old mopping pad. Of course, it's Velcro. You can slide it right off and buy extra ones. The water tank here, uh, the same brush roller that I've come to love from Roborock. And the reason why I love these brush rollers, i take that off, is the ends of the brush rollers are removable. So that's pretty standard stuff there from Roborock. Uh, they've been using this on the S6, uh, my S4, S5 Max. Uh, we have the two charging contacts here in the back. We have cliff sensors, two on this side, two on this side, and two in the very front here. Front rotary wheel, uh, rubber grip wheels that are adjustable for different heights. And uh, of course we have the water tank back here in the very back uh, that pulls out like this. You can see it's about the same size as the one that you find on the S5 Max. Uh, I'll put the milliliters here below. I can't recall those at the moment, but I'll go ahead and put those in the video so you know how much water it holds. And of course, it's got the uh, Roborock uh, one, one side spinning brush that I really like. I don't like the bristle type. This is the rubber type uh, side spinning brush. I really like those a lot. Uh, I've, I've really enjoyed having it on the S4. And uh, so when we flip it back over to the top here and take a look under the lid. And here is that crevice cleaning tool right here. Pretty simplistic brush on one end. This allows you to run this blade across your roller brush to cut it. And we'll go ahead and put that back in place. And dustbin. This is standard dustbin that you see on all their models. I also put the capacity, official capacity right here below in the video. You see the front of it opens up for you to dump and the filter is removable from the end. Uh, washable uh, filter is included. They also include a spare one, which is awesome. And so that is a tour of the Roborock S6 Max-V with the integrated AI, the reactive AI is what Roborock calls it. I'm excited to get this uh, going in my house to do some tests to see how well this works. And make sure you subscribe so you can see the future videos. Uh, the charging dock. Uh, it's a small charging dock, especially compared to the S4 I have. It has a little power light on top. It does not look like it has anywhere to wrap an excess cord like my S4 does. That's where the cord plugs in right there. And of course we have the mat that the whole thing sits on for so that it doesn't get your floor wet when it's come back from a mopping run and your power cord. And that's pretty much so it. So tell me, are you interested in the Roborock S6 Max-V? If so, please drop a comment below. Tell me what you think. If you already have a Roborock model, maybe the S5 Max or S6, tell me how you like it in the comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Stay tuned for more reviews. If you haven't already subscribed, like this video, smash that like button, please. And we'll be back very soon with the results for tests and this guy right here. Thanks very much. Take it easy, everyone.